once said, why should we all not live in peace and harmony? We look up at the same stars, we are fellow passengers on the same planet, and we dwell beneath the same sky. What matters it along which road each individual endeavors to find the ultimate truth? Seated back of me are two young men who look up at the same sky and look up at the same stars as you and me. They're ours, yours and mine, but they're also theirs. Who are these young men and why are they here? Well, you know, I think they could tell you that very much better than I could. Well, my name is Ray Corby, and this is my brother, John Corby. We come from New Zealand, and New Zealand is in the South Pacific, about south, southeast of Australia, about 1,200 miles. Uh, most Americans uh, don't think we're that far away from Australia because they usually connect the two countries together when they look at the atlas, but we're about four days by ship from Australia. The country consists of two main islands, uh, North and South Island. Uh, the biggest island is the South Island, but the uh, majority of the people live in the North Island, uh, roughly two-thirds of the population. Um, it's a farming country, and agriculture, of course, predominates throughout our life. Um, we have two million people in the whole country, and the country's size would be roughly about twice the size of Iowa. Uh, we are of British origin, and we are in the British Empire, but we aren't a colony of Britain, as some people might think. Uh, we are a free country, and, but we do have the Queen of England as our Queen. Not that she is the Queen of England, but that she is the Queen of New Zealand, and by that we recognise her as Queen. Well, Ray and I are in this country as uh, exchange visitors, and we're here under the sponsorship of the United States Department of Agriculture uh, to study and observe dairy farming conditions in this country and also to generally uh, see the American way of life. Um, on the whole, since we've been in this country, uh, we have been very impressed by what we have seen and I might add the uh, first thing that struck me on arriving in this country, you might say, was the size and the scale of everything here. Your cities, your buildings, your land, and even the scale of, of the enterprises that you undertake. At first, it was quite bewildering. Uh, some people like to, well, some people ask us, uh, what do we in New Zealand think of America and of Americans? Well, we have American tourists, and we had American servicemen during the war, and uh, of course we get the American movies. But uh, I think the people in New Zealand have a very good, true idea of how Americans live and uh, go about their daily life. Uh, some things, of course, uh, strike us as quite different. Clothes, um, possibly different stylings. The girls wear different clothes as a rule, um, different styles and things like that. But on the whole, we're very much alike. I might add also the, uh, there are different mannerisms of speech, for instance. Uh, we have many sayings and that, well, which when we speak here, which you people don't understand, but uh, that I think is due to the fact that we don't get, you don't get films from our country, and uh, on the other hand, we are always getting American films, so we on our part are quite familiar with your uh, uh, colloquialisms. Uh, there's also the uh, few odd habits, say uh, eating habits. Uh, you eat your meals with your fork in the uh, right hand, whereas we have exclusively a knife in the right hand and the, and the fork in the left. And uh, there are other such things as, for instance, uh, when you get in a car in New Zealand, you drive on the, on the left hand side of the road. And uh, the steering wheel of the car is on the right. Well, at first, when I first come here, it was quite bewildering at first. In fact, <laughs> it was uh, rather nerve-wracking to begin with, <laughs> hopping into a, uh, a car here and going on the opposite side of the road to what we've been used to. Um, I would like to point out also that uh, at home we have a very temperate climate. The rains in the district where we come from 
Uh, we come from a place called Hamilton in the North Island, and the average winter temperature is roughly about 56 degrees above zero, and the uh, average summer temperature would be roughly 68 degrees above zero. And of course, by that you can see that we don't have much of a winter, and we have an extremely big growing season for our grass. Uh, we're both over here studying dairying, and uh, we're very interested to see your methods and ways of doing it. But uh, of course, we can't use what we see uh, to very much extent in New Zealand because of the variation in climate and the fact that we are mainly a grass and farming era, area, whereas you farming over here, you use concentrates, feeding and things like that. Uh, uh, in our country, um, housing conditions and uh, that compare very favourably uh, with yours. We have, I think, on the whole about uh, one house, one dwelling at any rate, for every four people. And uh, generally speaking, our homes are wooden structures and uh, are usually one storey on the one floor. We don't go in at all for central heating, uh, as you people do, and it was... Uh, well, it took us by surprise when we come here. We weren't quite prepared for it. Our clothing we come was woolen clothing, which our people, uh, it's our everyday dress in our country. And uh, I can see here, since with your central heating, it is not suited to your climate. Um, our houses, we have uh, a la large amount of uh, uh, private ownership of homes. But uh, since the post-war, in the post-war period at any rate, uh, the building of these homes cannot keep up with the demand. And we have a large state housing program which is taking care of the lag. Um, we have our transport facilities in our countries, we have, uh, are really quite modern. Uh, by your standards, we have uh, all our railways are government owned. They started off right back in the 1860s and 1870s that way. And uh, for cars, we have, I think it is about one car for every eight people, which I think is, ranks about fourth or fifth in the world or something. And, uh, of course, it isn't up to your, uh, we haven't got as many cars at the same rate as what you people have, or the proportion isn't as great as what yours is. Uh, our general living standards are, are also quite high, um, although in many respects they differ from yours here. Uh, goods such as uh, cars, and, or which we term luxuries, are really quite expensive in our country, but the necessities of life such as food and clothing and uh, other essentials, they are relatively cheaper. And um. very much. A lot of people ask us how our education compares to yours for our children. Um, well, you have more co-educational um, education, I would say, but uh, on the whole, I think uh, education's about the same. Your uh, buildings for your children, uh, schools and things like that, are well, the ones we have seen have been very good and top rate. Uh, you have uh, heating um, cafeterias, uh, things like that, and it's very, very good. Uh, we could learn a lot from you in things of that nature. Um, your industrial developments, uh, high above anywhere else we have ever seen. And uh, of course it is not practical, but a lot of it is not practical because we have such a small country. But I think that we could incorporate a lot of the methods that you people do. In fact, our government sends our top men over in various industrial fields to study American methods. Uh, in the uh, political setup in our country, well, I've noticed that it differs quite a bit from your country here, but basically we are a democracy just as much as uh, your country is a democracy. Uh, the only, only big difference is that we do not have uh, a president as you people have here. Uh, we have, as my brother has said, we have a queen and we are a, a kingdom. But uh, the people still express themselves under the same, uh, in the, m much the same manner as your people do here. That is through, you people do it through Congress, we do it through Parliament. And we have our political parties, 
which are Conservative and Labour, at least National and Labour. And uh, at present we have a National uh, Party government. It has been that way for the past two years. And uh, the general setup of politics of the uh, politics is that uh, every person over the age of 21 is eligible to vote. Uh, that includes many of our, that includes our Maori people just as much as our white people. The Maori people in our country are uh, the native race, the original native people of the country and their political rights are just as New Zealand citizens. I would like to say a bit about the uh, Maori situation at home. Um, a lot of people come out there and say it is the ideal uh, native race, white race setup uh, in combination. Uh, we are very fortunate, of course, that the Maoris are extremely intelligent and very well read and they are absorbed into the white population uh, very easy. Um, well, actually, there's no difference in any way at all as far as our standing, social standing goes between a Maori and a white man. A Pākehā is what a white man is called by the, Ma by the Maoris. Excuse me. Um, I'd like to say a few points about um, concerning the housewives. Uh, food preparation at home is not so extensive as what it is over here. At home we have very cheap meat and uh, of course we have more meat in our diet than anything else. Well, because we have uh, so much in common, uh, we both speak the same language, we basically we are both uh, Christian people and uh, we have a general understanding of each other. We feel that uh, we can look forward to an era of greater understanding and cooperation because uh, we feel that the best way you can get to know each other uh, better is to meet each other personally. And uh, we feel the more we have of being able to get together and talk things over, we feel the better the world will be. Well, today we've asked you to meet two young men from another country, John and Raymond Corby from New Zealand. And before any of you who are geographic in mind and have an astronomical twist remind us that uh, they do not look up at the same stars exactly in New Zealand as we do in North America, we will admit that. But on the greater count of our similarities and our common humanity, we would still say that we were very happy to have you meet two new friends of yours, John and Raymond Corby from New Zealand, who speak for themselves and speak for their people way down under, people who live under the same sky as you and I and who look up at the same stars. <laughs> 